because it's all coming together. Sweet! Welcome back to another episode of Broke Premiere, guys. Unfortunately, the original clip that I taped for this got taped over by the camera. So I just wanted to redo the intro quick. Basically, this is a 2008 Chevy Cobalt that I picked up for $1,000. It did have 113,000 miles, and overall, the condition was fairly well. The only major problem and another uh, cosmetic problem was that the window was busted when I bought it. I mean, he duct taped it up, but you'll see that in the footage. The real issue that I got it so cheap was that when I got there, the car wouldn't shift out of first gear. And luckily I did a little bit of research before going out there and I figured out a trick to make it shift out of first gear. So that's where I'm gonna lead you into right now. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the show. But I don't like the fact of Jerry rigging it just to make it work for now. I wanna fix the issue at hand because if that fixed it just for the moment, that means something's still going wrong and gonna continue to go wrong. So I wanna fix that problem. Another trick I saw was to actually check the BCM, which is the body control module. And that should be hidden right somewhere in here. I believe we have to pull out that giant plug and clean that. So yeah guys, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna disconnect the battery and then I'm going to kind of just start unplugging stuff that I think it might be. Blow it out with some compressed air, see if that cleans it up a little bit and see if I actually see any type of just corrosion or burn to build up, anything. All right guys, let's get at it. All right guys, so I took the car and I basically soldered those wires that were the speed sensor that we were talking about earlier. And I soldered them together. And then I found also that my mass, or uh, my O2 sensor wires that you saw, I rewired those completely and gave them like an extra six inches. So now we'll see if this actually helped. Okay, not bad. All right, so we're one thing down, that's good. bad wind it's a few days later here so i actually ended up fixing all of the issues as far as engine codes go on this car so it did end up being the o2 sensor uh, was malfunctioning along with i believe it was the speed sensor that goes into the transmission so after soldering and fixing those wires all those codes cleared and i think i showed you that i was able to to get a nice quick little run in as far as how well this car was running and shifting now so the next thing that I am getting, and if you see here, I finally was able to figure out what the code was. And here it is, B008171 through 71. Uh, so basically, after doing a bit of research, I found out that in the Cobalts, there's actually an issue back here in the four passengers where the wire connecting to the, the seatbelt retractor in here shorts out and actually becomes an issue but in the coops it looks like it might actually be under here 
and if you see i mean it looks like this wire has kind of been frayed and messed with so i'm thinking there's a good chance that something has grounded out in that wire so what we're going to do right now is actually just take out these couple of bolts yank out this whole seat and see if there's any wires kind of frayed underneath the seat and also check those wires that we just looked at so let's get at it guys I apologize, I'm about to throw this camera. I'm so over it. I cut the wires, I soldered the wires, I even installed the seat, I tried to record it again. Nothing's working, I'm hoping this still works. Let me see, yeah, it still works, okay. Um, sorry for the helicopter noise, but here is the first test after doing everything. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the scanner on it because that'll probably show us first where we're at. Okay, so there's no things present. I got this before, but it was after I unplugged the seat, which basically disconnects everything. I think we fixed the airbag. Let's find out. Oh no. Still getting, oh no. Airbag light went off. Nice. I'm so happy that I found those little wires because it's all coming together. Sweet. Yeah, that's it. Let's get at it. What is up guys? It is the next day here. Not gonna lie, it's been a rough day. I was almost gonna skip recording today altogether. I went to the junkyard and I had gotten just a few parts. So one of them, I'll actually show you here, is uh, just kind of make the engine bay look a little prettier. I got this guy, this little. Uh, the other thing I picked up was actually the shock that goes here. In fact, let's install that right now. Slam the top on. Okay, and we'll slam. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. All right. So yeah, I picked up this pretty little engine dress-up plastic, and then the last thing that I picked up was this guy. That looks about right. Cool. Right now, I'm gonna try to finish this up. So uh, let's get at it. Welcome back guys, it's, uh, it's probably a few days later here. I had finished installing the window. It actually set up pretty nicely. I mean, all the gaps look really good on it. It really does look like it's gonna come out nice. So after that, we're actually gonna finish buttoning up the interior. I will finish scrubbing down all the little interior parts that I've pulled out. And then I'm gonna finish wiping down the, uh, the back seats. So basically, all that's going on today is to button everything up. All the little miscellaneous things I'm gonna try to finish this car up, get it ready to sell. And yeah, that's the goal. Let's get at it, guys.
sorry guys, Chevy Cobalt is looking good. Came out really nice. In fact, I just want to show you how nice the interior came out. Back window was a perfect install. Um, anyone looking for the actual sealant that I used on this, I use windshield sealant just because I didn't want them to have any leaks down in the future. And it was called like 3M08690 or something like that. But I just wanted to show you guys once over, the whole car is finished. There's no more check engine lights or ABS lights or airbag lights going off in this car. Everything is looking solid. Roof is all clean. The back seats came out amazing. Thankfully, these things were barely used, so they look legitimately brand new. And then I just threw in the, the classic mats that I always buy for these cars. Uh, I'm sure some of you are wondering how much did you actually make on the Saturn? Uh, bought the Saturn for $700 and I put about $100 worth of parts in it between the bearing, the thermostat. So that came to about hundred bucks total. And then, so all together we had about 800 bucks into it. I listed it for $3,750. Uh, it took probably a couple days this time to actually get someone interested. It was a Saturn view, not highly desirable. But uh, a gentleman drove all the way down from LA who just loved Saturns and missed having one. And he wanted a new one uh, for him and his little one. So that one actually went really well. Uh, I asked $37.50 and it went for $37. So I made $2,900 on that one. So all in all, a very, very good flip. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it. I hope you have a wonderful week next couple of days whenever I see you next. And until then, have a good one. Later, guys.